So today we are driving about five hours from Yaoundé to Kribi to go see the Cameroonian coast. But first, well, we're stuck in traffic. We are almost to Kribi. Um, according to the maps, like the ocean should be pretty much right there. We still can't see it yet though. Hopefully soon. Um, and it just started rain. We've been in Cameroon for how many days? This is our third week. Yeah. And it is definitely rainy I don't know. season. Yeah, I'm like, I don't know if it's coming out of rainy season or what's going on. Um, but yeah, it's rained every day. But that will not stop us, as you have already seen in uh, the previous video. <laughs> So we just arrived in Kribi this weekend. We are staying at an Airbnb, so we need to go get some food. So food acquirer, like the grocery store is kind of like pretty basic, like drinks and toilet paper and all that good stuff, but there's like no eggs, no meat or anything, but they're bread. Ooh, really, really good bread. Now we're on little dirt road, just a couple hundred meters before we arrive to our Airbnb and we're gonna see you there. 12 seconds later. We are a bit lost, but we ended up like by the ocean, massive property. It's actually like the chefferie where like the kind of the leader of this community like lives. So we met him, very nice guy. Um, his wife gave us her phone. We tried to call, nothing. So let's see what's gonna happen today. We made it to our Airbnb and the funniest part is the first lady we asked like for direction. We're like, oh, where is this Airbnb? She's like, I really don't know. And she asked other people around and everyone was like, don't know. It was like, it's the house right across from her house. And she was the one who's keeping the keys for the house. I feel like someone was just like, here, keep this key. I might need it every so often. I, That's I, probably I what know. happened. <laughs> I think because this name, the name of the house is Maison de l'Océan, like ocean yeah. house. So I think that's just the name on Airbnb and people like in the village, they don't know this house as Maison it's de like l'Océan. <laughs> this Airbnb is super cool because like, we're literally like in the middle of the village. Like, I love it. We're like part of the community. I'm from Kribi now. So just a few meters behind our Airbnb, there's the ocean. It's super cool because it's the Atlantic Ocean, the same ocean as we have on our side of Canada. And just in time, the sun is out. It is nice and warm, a little humid, but uh, let's go see the beach. Let's go to the beach. Beach, what's the next line? Let's go catch a wave. Let's go catch a wave. <laughs> let's go to the beach, eat, let's go get a wave. So the next test will be, I know we're on like the western side of Africa, but I'm wondering, like, is the water actually warmer? Because if anyone knows back home in Halifax, like, the Atlantic Ocean, it's really cold. So, David, you're off to try. <laughs> it's really good. If you ask me, it's like the perfect temperature. It is, it is cooler than Kenya, but most of the time in Kenya, it's too warm. It is much warmer than Namibia and much, much warmer than Canada. So, this is like perfect temperature. So we just made it to a little restaurant straight on the beach. Their specialty, it's obviously, like 200 seafood. 200 meters from the Airbnb. I would yeah, say. something like that. Yeah. It's super nice. Lots of family enjoying the ocean. They seem to think it's cold. I think it's fun. Anyway, Castel, local beer. Cheers to that. The price of local beers in Cameroon is so cheap. This and is like, like for the, a thousand. That's like two beer. Yeah, and it's like two dollars. Yeah. I do have to say, I think I prefer that one over the 33. Castel is better than 33. The 33 just, it has a sweetness to it that it's not my favorite. I feel favorite. like a lot of Cameroonian are going to be mad about that, but we're That's Castel fair. people, we're Team Castel. It's still good, just I prefer this. <laughs> hey, Mori. Hi. So, for a lunch on the beach, we got 30 shrimps freshly cut this morning, some plantain, some chips. Oh, I said chips. See that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Kenya, weird. you got me. I'm, I'm basically like British now mm. too. Mm. Okay, those are actually really good. But those are like... pretty good shrimps. Mm. And the plantain is very hot. It's not but very hot. Oh my god. I am so confused. My shrimp 
has a claw. Do I eat the claw? Do shrimp normally have claws or is it just um, us? No. I'm a fan. That was so good, guys. Like, some of the best shrimp I ever had. Like, legit. The sauce itself is a 10 out of 10. This is when you know it's good. You like find the tail ends that still have a little bit of meat back in them. And you go back and pick out what you didn't have the patience to do while you were super hungry. Yeah. <laughs> this is it. It's coconut time. Of course, on a beach in Africa, you need some coconut juice. It comes with like a bamboo straw and it's like really nice and the coconut in it sometimes like when you bite it's really soggy but this one is actually nice and crunchy like it's a good coconut good time on the beach just in case you're wondering 30 shrimps we paid 1500 i'm not sure if it's a lot or not a lot to be honest like it's our first time here so no idea uh, they were delicious they were and so good the beer a thousand each coconut 500 good deal so welcome to Shoot Lombe. <laughs> um, so this would probably be like the one of the main attractions here in Kirby. It's a waterfall here that looks really nice. And it's one of the only waterfalls that actually drop directly into the ocean. And it's pretty cool. You can get closer to, uh, to the waterfall. And we're just gonna go on the boat. We're going on a ride. So meet our captain, Captain Jack Sparrow there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Merci beaucoup. Merci. Okay, so I confirmed this is the only, not one of the only, the only waterfall in the entire world that drops directly into the ocean. It's less than a hundred meter from the entrance of the ocean. The water here is fresh water and it is so much colder than the ocean. Oh, you just got a fish. Do you see that? There you go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I really wanted to walk in my sneakers and then I took them off and now my feet are wet and there's some glass on the path. <laughs> so my dear of a husband <laughs> This is very bumpy. <laughs> Piggybacked me all up past the the little garbage that looked like it had glass in it. <laughs> saved my feet, saved my life. <laughs> now, let's show you our Airbnb which is in the cutest village on the perfect little fisherman town beach. I really like this place. So when we arrived, I really should have just trusted the pin on Google after all, um, because it is where I want. <laughs> but we are at Maison de l'Océan. Maison de l'Océan. How do you get l'Océan out of l'Océan? Ocean? ocean? Yeah. Océan. Nah, I like <laughs> it. We're going to say l'Océan. <laughs> uh, so this is the main area here and we even have like a dining room table here. My favorite feature is when we are looking at places to come, especially because we're not used to the summer heat. I mean, it's totally fine, but we are looking for AC and this place actually has an AC unit in the main area and one in the master bedroom. So this is a three bedroom unit. Keep in mind that the other two bedrooms, one has a fan and the other one may have nothing, but we'll find out in a second. Um, but yeah, just keep in mind, AC in one. And then we even have our own ensuite bathroom here. Keep coming in. Can we just address that the toilet is like in the wrong side? That should be, anyway. I think it's because when someone's in bed and you go to the toilet, you don't have to have eye contact. I guess. That's where I get that. Um, and then we come in here. I won't go through all of them. But, oh no, they do have another fan in there as well. So there's bunk beds here. Both of them are like double beds too. And then, uh, this bedroom. Sorry, I, for some reason I wasn't sure. Uh, yeah, so this is another bedroom. And then another bathroom and a shower there as well. One more thing you haven't seen 
is the kitchen. This is actually the first time I've been in it. Um, yeah, so everything you need in the kitchen. You have an oven, burner, sink, and freezer, fridge. That's all you need. You can definitely cook in here, but let's say that there is a lot of movement. <laughs> Great first half day in Kribi. Yeah, I would say. Airbnb is a pretty good location in the sense of like, like yeah. you're right on the beach and that little restaurant that, I don't know. You can walk to the waterfall as well, so like 10 out yeah. of 10 for location. I would eat those shrimps again tomorrow. Yeah, those that was very so good. good. But we're going to relax for the rest of the night. It started yeah. to rain outside, sadly. And yeah, we're going to see you guys tomorrow to explore a little bit more Kribi. let's go get packed for the day. A couple months ago, Nordis had actually reached out and sent us a couple book bags for us to test out. I fell in love with them, which is why they're sponsoring today's video. So Nordis is actually known for being a smart book bag. What that means is there's a cord inside, attaches to your own power bank, and then you plug in here and you can charge your phone from your book bag on the go. So if just like me, the organization is a priority, this is the bag for you. Here are a couple of my favorite pockets. You have the hidden one in the back to store valuables, passports, anything like that. My husband's favorite pocket. <laughs> I use this one to store all of our snacks. On this side, we have another one. And no, it doesn't connect through. You can store your cards. It has RFID blocking technology for your cards. And then there's even a wet pocket here. So that way you can keep things dry. Important things like our stickers. So I'm gonna put their website down below because we have an exclusive offer just for you. They have so many different styles and colors. I'm sure you'll find something that you love. Thank you Nordis for sponsoring this video, but right now we gotta go. Good morning. We are going to town this morning. Um, we have uh, somebody local. I'm not sure how much he was gonna want to be on camera. He looks a little shy, but uh, we'll see. Okay? Okay. So we just arrived at the fish market. This is one of the largest fish market in uh, Cameroon. And there is everything from barracuda, to sole, to, to crab, shrimp, whatever you can imagine. If it lives in the water, you can buy it. This barracuda there is the largest fish they caught. And it's the largest fish here in the market today. It's massive. Well, there's a new biggest one now. per kilogram and to determine the price it also depends on the type of fish uh, because it depends if they're in season or not so more expensive cheaper yeah and they actually start at 7 a.m. and run to 8 p.m. so it's like 13 hours that they're running so the fish market super interesting worth a little stop especially if you want to buy something but for us uh, it's 8 a.m. I don't feel like eating fish yet but this fish is like distributed like in a bunch of restaurants around here but up to like Douala and Yaoundé as well so like this is the spot so this is actually the restaurant side so if you buy a fish over in the fish market you can bring it to the other side and they can prep it cook it and you can eat it there let's see another market because i like those so we just arrived to the smaller version of the fish market and i think this one's a little bit more sold locally like to the local restaurants around smaller market doesn't mean smaller fish <laughs> So we just arrived at a fisherman's village. It is right on the ocean, a very cool location, but the rain is coming. We gotta hurry up. So one of their specialties is actually the smoked fish and this is where they do it. They get it in the morning and then smoke it over there. So this village lives almost exclusively from fishing and everyone is doing his part. Everyone is like at work. Even the kids are learning very young how to take care of the nets. Apparently it's like an art, it's quite complicated. But yeah, everyone is doing their part for this to be a successful place. And now it's raining a lot. Gotta get back to the car. It's raining a lot. <laughs> okay. A 
little wet, but that's okay. We had to cut this short just a little bit because the rain is coming, but it's still super interesting to see and I'm super glad we stopped. So here are a few fun facts because I love it. Fishermen normally here get out to sea um, to go for their fishing day at 3 a.m. and they come back at around 8 or 9 to different markets to sell uh, their catch. And basically the first market that we saw, yes, it is the largest one and there is about 500 boats a day that are coming to sell their product and there's around three guys per boat normally, so 15, 1,500 fishermen uh, participating daily into the fish economy and again that's just one market so now um, we are heading to the complete opposite to where we are and hopefully we're gonna beat the rain there before it arrives at the turtle village okay so a quick stop on the longest beach here in Cameroon it is beautiful it is well over one kilometer long and it is more quiet, less restaurant, less people, so it's the perfect place to relax. But right now, it's not perfect because it's raining a lot. And uh, the water is like coming in, uh, it's coming in high right now. You didn't want to come see the beach? No, it was a little <laughs> wet. <laughs> Back to where we were Sadly, no turtles for us today, apparently. When it rains like that, the road is like, you know, you can't use it because of the mud and everything. We're gonna get stuck, so... Turtles, next time we're in Cameroon, I guess. <laughs> this is a little bit more complicated than what I thought. Basically, our guide, Roman, told us we're gonna just walk around here, and apparently where the waterfalls are on the other side, there's some ladies that are like, I don't know, like prepping shrimps for the day or something. But now, we're like, way deeper than what I expected so I gotta like take my phones and stuff out oh. we're going in guys we're going in what I do for this channel just because I want to show you okay I want to see it too <laughs> Tracy's looking at me like what are you making me do Tracy having a good time <laughs> she's giving me the thumbs up The traps are all like handmade. It's uh, basically like they can go in, but they can't find their way out. And the bait inside is actually just papaya, like the fruit. <laughs> Time to go back. <laughs> can't believe yesterday we paid for a boat to bring us on this side of the falls. Could have just walked around. <laughs> just pay for the boat, don't walk around. When you think about it, like these shrimps cannot get much fresher than that. They're from there and you eat them there. I like it. Plus they were literally like the best shrimp ever. Trying to not get my phone wet, or my money, or the keys of the car, you know, all these important things. Here's the deepest part. Bonjour, merci, merci, merci. Bonjour, ça va bien? Parfait. <laughs> no. Même pas. This guy says I look like David Beckham. I don't believe him. And just like that, we are back to our Airbnb after a very fun but wet <laughs> morning. Tracy already took her pants off. I need I, to take my pants off my as well. jeans are very difficult to take off. <laughs> Ugh, we're pretty wet. So we're not very original. Tonight, we have a place in mind that we really want to go to. So for lunch, we're just going back to the same place we did yesterday because it was that good. So let's hope they still have crevettes. <laughs> same table, same ocean, but uh, less sun than yesterday. Still gonna be good, I think. Very good. Good morning. Welcome back. Tell me how great your shrimps were, Tracy. That was exactly what I wanted it to be again. 
I'm telling you, that sauce. We need to figure out how to make that sauce. But I was just saying to David too that like, back in Canada, I find we don't use a lot of spices or just flavor. And these are just packed with flavor and they're so, so good. <laughs> so I love trying local beer so far. We tried the 33 Export, the Mutzig and the Castel. Mm -hmm. I think the Mutzig so far is my favorite. Tracy's a big fan of the Castel. Yeah, I need to put like the Mutzig and the Castel side by side and try them because we'll to do me, that tonight. <laughs> they're kind of the same. Don't Just kill me in the comments. Let me try them again first. <laughs> we both like the 33, but it's definitely not our favorite because it's a little bit sweet. It's going to be sweet aftertaste. aftertaste yeah. yeah, so meh. This is better. I think we gained it all. Fun fact. I don't know if you can see, but very far in the distance, there's like an oil ship. Basically, there's an underground pipeline running from Chad all the way down to the ocean here in Kribi. And this is where the oil basically resurfaced to load up the ships. That's a very long pipeline. We're almost back at the Airbnb, and just in case you're wondering, yes, the dog is still right there. <laughs> I think she thinks that she's coming home. I mean, this Airbnb is pet friendly, so technically we could keep her for a couple of days. <laughs> what do we do, Tracy? I don't know. Can, can she come in? <laughs> just for the record, I wanted to let the dog in, but Tracy didn't. I'm just saying. Okay, so we're getting ready to go for, well, we are ready for supper now. We've been waiting to go to this place pretty much since we arrived, since we drove by yesterday. Um, I can't pronounce it, so David, where are we going? We are going to a restaurant called Le Plaisir du Goût and basically like we drove in front of it yesterday and it looks super cool and when I googled it I realized that apparently according to Google reviews it is the best restaurant here in Kirby so it's a super cool location by the ocean. We're gonna go check it out. Welcome to Le Plaisir du Captain now. First impression, I have to say, I'm a fan. It's a really cool looking restaurant, yeah. straight on the beach. We might even have a little bit of a sunset. I think it's gonna be great. Obviously, like this is more expensive compared to like just eating on the beach. Yeah, for sure. But it's a different vibe and I'm, I'm happy we're here because it's so much better than what I expected, to be honest. So I'm trying another Cameroonian beer because that's what I like, trying new things, new food, new drinks, new places. Oh, I think I like this one better. Every time I drink a new beer from Cameroon, I'm like, no, this one is better, this one. Yeah, I like the Beaufort better. So I promised you at lunch I was gonna decide between the Mitzig and the Castel. After going back to the Castel, the Castel is good, but I do prefer the Mitzig, and even over the Beaufort that you have right now. Yeah, the more I drink it, the more I think that it's a bit too light. So I, I'll go really, with the Mitzig too, I think. It is really, really light. It's nice though. Yeah, but if I'm gonna sit down and have a beer, I want it taste of the beer. So, mitzig it is. So for our main, we have some barracuda with tomato sauce and it's probably one of the fish that we saw this morning, like actually. Oh yeah. Mm. It looks really good. First time having barracuda, it's very nice. It tastes like any white fish kind of thing, but the, the sauce is what's winning. Mm. Also, Tracy and I agree, like before coming to Cameroon, we were never like big fans of plantain, but here they really do it well or it's just better i don't know we've been eating it for like three days straight and we love it okay for our pizza we took la frontière which is everything beef ham crevettes crevettes Ooh. shrimp and chicken with emmental cheese it's really hot mm -hmm. it's good though mm -hmm. mm. well it's rare but uh we're giving up even though there's a slice left that was a lot of food delicious though so good <laughs> Our waiter Jack just said that like because you know he's kind of like in the in the vlog every time we're gonna remember Kribi we're gonna remember him Jack. Yes, there you go. Ask for Jack. <laughs> so two beers which are big ones, um, an extra large pizza and barracuda 21,000 francs. Not too bad, amazing location, would definitely recommend this place. 
we be good times, let me just say one thing before we start um, about the Airbnb. Just in case you come here and you're like, well, Dave said it was fantastic. Listen, the AC works very good. Yeah. The bed is okay. And the location is a 10 out of 10. Perfect. Outside of that, the kitchen is kind of infested by all kinds of bugs. The roof is leaking in one of the rooms. There is no toilet seat. The toilet doesn't flush all the time. And they do not provide any kind of towel or toilet paper. Yeah. So there you go. And to Full me, truth. yeah, my only point to that is like on Airbnb, you pay a service fee. So if you're paying that service fee, it's just part of the deal. Yeah. But Anyways. Because we stayed here, we met Roman. Yeah. He toured us this Fantastic. morning. Fantastic. And again, location, location, location. Yeah. This is it. And there's Discovered not. Discovered the best crevettes. Yes. And there's not a lot of Airbnb in the area either. Yeah. So, you know, you got to do what you got to do. Yeah. No good. Um, Kribi overall, even though we didn't have the best weather, yeah. we had a really good time. It was still very warm. The beach is very nice. Really good Restaurants, food the food is great. Like, yeah. wow, and it was so cool to see where the fish is coming from in the morning and yeah. everything. Super, uh, super interesting to see that. And then after that, go on the beach, go to the restaurant and eat the barracuda, eat the crevettes and everything. Like, yeah. it's a really cool thing. So yeah, yeah Kribi is a vibe. I like it. I like it too. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, definitely like a quiet, town i would say and the people the people that we have met on our trip here in cameroon cameroon in, in general very chill fantastic, very welcoming so friendly yeah. and just like i don't know they stick with you maybe we'll be back because we got to go up north the story we didn't tell you we tried to take an overnight yeah. train and everything and it was I really uh, worked, and we yeah. were last minute and it didn't <laughs> work and we're very sad so we'll be back here but uh, yeah. until next time see you guys in the next one